Right then, this is a video to show how to take a grid bearing. To take a grid bearing, first you'll need a map of where you are. In this case, we're using North Yorkshire. You'll also need pencil and compass. Now, to take a grid bearing, first you must find your start point. In this case, we're going to be using a public telephone box, which is here. And we are going to a place of worship with a tower located in Osmotherly here. To find the grid bearing it's quite simple. Firstly, take your compass and place it on your start point either using this edge or this edge. So I place the edge onto the start point there, like so. And I then line up this side the point we're going to which is just here so it's a bit off so all I do is move up slightly and there we have it the compass is now lined up you must make sure that the direction of travel arrow points in the same direction in which you're going in this case we're going to the east now the simple bit I have to do now is turn the compass housing till the inner lines or the orientation lines match up the grid lines on the map running north to north to south or south to north like so once the lines have matched up with the grid lines you can then take your rough bearing from the index line in this case it is 86 degrees I can then do is either using my compass and leaving it on the map, I can then use, I can then walk on that bearing, orientating the map, like so. Now, if I was on the ground and I didn't want to use my map, I can change the grid bearing into a mag bearing. Now, the rough distance after calculating grid magnetic angle is about 2 degrees. From a grid bearing to a mag bearing, you add 2 degrees. From mag to grid, you take off 2 degrees. So if I was then to start from the telephone box, then go to the place of worship, and I don't want to use my map, all I have to do is add 2 degrees on the compass to make it 88. I could walk with it straight there. 